standing here with you today marks a very special moment in our lives. Not only is it our wedding day, where I get to marry my best friend, but we're also celebrating our 11th anniversary, where we get to remember over a decade of love and amazing memories with each other and with the people dearest to us. Now you would think after all these years, it would be easy for me to find the right thing to say on a day like today. But the truth is, every day I'm with you, you leave me lost for words. And while I know I could stand here in front of everyone and tell you how I adore you and how you've changed my life and how you are kind, honest and intelligent, or how you can put away a tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream like no one else I know. <laughs> Or I could just simply say that I love you. But the thing is, everyone in this room, they already know this about you. And I wanted somehow, so badly, to explain to you and everybody here all the love I have for you in a different way. And not the love of butterflies and stomach knots, but more the blurring of self and the entanglement with another soul. Because love is a word that is much too soft and used far too often to ever describe the fierce, infinite and blazing passion that I have in my heart for you. So rather than using these vows, simply pledge my love for you. Aaron, my love, I hope you know just how much today means to you. I know. <laughs> Saying vows in front of friends and family seems odd to me. Although it's nice to announce my love for you in front of everyone, it's more important to me that you know in your heart how much I care about you. As far as making a vow, I vow to continue to treat you as my best friend, my darling, my love and my queen. I vow to make memories and get outside of our comfort zone, to say we have lived a life worth living together. I love you. Aaron Kenneth Kirk and Emily Jean Gisgrove Cole. You are here today to declare your love for each other in the presence of your family and friends. Aaron, the woman who stands beside and in front of you is about to become your wife. Now that we're about to enter the magical mysteries of marriage, do you promise to go bush, watch the sunsets and enjoy the little things in life together? Then please, <laughs> sounds good? Yeah. Then please repeat after me. In front of everyone here today. In front of everyone here today. I am Aaron. I am Because everyone you without you in it's Thank too you, long. Even though I know. See you. Emily, the man that stands beside me in front of you, is about to become your husband. Now that you're about to enter the magical mysteries of marriage. <laughs> Do you promise to go bush, watch the sunsets, and enjoy the little things in life together? I do. And please repeat after me. In front of everyone here today. I do. Your head's laying on my shoulder. Saying prayer when the moon is over. Whisper quietly when I'm holding you tight. Holy my angels. Aaron and Emily will still be there with the kids. Today, ladies and gentlemen, once again, go absolutely mental. Put your hands together for the one and only bride and groom. Here they are, Emily and Kimberly. Next time I'll see you. We talk about unconditional love with all our kids. Everyone has that, I think, with all their kids. 
But when it comes to Aaron, I think I, about nine years ago I gained that with him. And I'm very, very privileged to call you son. For your future, as you grow and develop in everything you do, especially in your love for each other. When we first met Anne, we knew to right away that she was the girl for him. Even if it hadn't dawned on him just yet, and took him way too long to finally admit his feelings and acknowledge how he felt, it was obvious to everyone around just how crazy he was about her. The bond the five of us share is hard to describe. We all accept each other for the people that we are, our quirky habits, our strong opinions, our good and not so good traits. Our friendship is truly special. It's so rare and something that many long for at this stage in our, their lives. We support, guide and lift each other up. And you have been a rock for us over the years. You have impacted all our lives in one way or another. And I know I speak on behalf of us all when I say we are forever grateful. From your four adopted sisters, we want to thank you for all your never-ending love and support. And we wish you a lifetime of happiness with your friends and our buddy. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.